Top 10 Richest People in Portugal 2022 Hello and thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. Do you want to discover who the richest Portuguese are? Then this video is for you. Portugal is one of the most expensive nations, so it shouldn't be surprising that some of the world's super rich call at home. Let's examine the top 10 richest Portuguese in 2022. 10. Fernando Pinho Teixeira. Net worth, $661 million. Portuguese economist, Fernando Teixeira dos Santos is a professor and a businessman. He served as finance minister from 2005 until 2011. In 1972, Fernando Teixeira founded Ferpa de SA with the purchase of Herculano, the biggest producer of agricultural semi-trailers in Europe. The business entered the agricultural market in 1997. In 2018, the Ferro Grupo Ferpenda brand was adopted by the commercial Ferpenda Group. Fernando was estimated to be worth $661 million. Number 9. João Pereira Cochinho. Net worth, $698 million. João Pereira Cochinho is a Portuguese historian, political scientist, and author. His parents, who were history teachers, raised him in Madison Hose, where he also attended school until he graduated from high school. At the age of 19, he published the book Jamie E. Outro's Beach Hose, which earned him the Ferreira de Castro National Youth Literature Prize in 1996. The SGC Group, owned by João Pereira Cochinho, paid 10 million euros for Jastel Portugal in 2003. Occam, a Brazilian business, was also purchased in the same year. On September 21, 2005, Yo Pereira Cochinha formally unveiled the establishment of a new operator, R Telecom, based on the previous business, and declared his aim to use his TMAX network to completely encircle the domestic market. His estimated net worth is $698 million. Number 8. Luis Vicente. Net worth, $888 million. Owner of Grupo Luis Vicente and the Nuvi Group, millionaire Luis Vicente is an intelligent businessman. The Vicente family's entrepreneurial spirit gave rise to Luis Vicente, S.A., which was founded roughly 50 years ago. A business with a solid reputation in the fruit and vegetable industry. More than 50,000 tons of fruits and vegetables have been sold commercially over the world thanks to Luis Vicente, S.A.'s skilled and knowledgeable team of experts. The total wealth of Luis Vicente is $888 million. Number 7. Manuel and Rita Violas. Net Worth. $960 million. The Superbach Group's board of directors is currently presided over by Portuguese businessman Manuel. A. Violas. Brewing company Superbach Group has its main office in Porto, Portugal. As the COOF, the business was established in 1890. In 1977, it underwent a reorganization and changed its name to Unicer. The company's name was changed to its current form in November 2017 to reflect its most well known product, the Superbach beer. It is the biggest beverage corporation in Portugal and operates in the soft drink, cider, and wine industries as well. An estimated $960 million is the combined net worth of Manuel and his wife Rita. Number 6. Pedro Caros Pereira. Net worth, $1.3 billion. Portuguese businessman and former race car driver Pedro Caros Pereira was born in Lisbon and went to the Colegio Militar and the Lisbon Higher Institute of Accounting and Administration before quitting school to focus on his business. He has held leadership positions in several organizations under the Caros Pereira family's ownership, including those with holdings in the prefabricated building, cement, hotel, real estate, and farm industries. He served on the boards of directors for both Banco Espirito Santo and the Hotel Ritz. He increased the Caros Pereira family's holdings in 1995 by purchasing Cecil, a company in the cement sector, and then Portucel, a company in the paper sector, where it held the position of chairman of the board of directors. He passed away on August 18, 2018, at the age of 69, from a deadly heart attack while aboard his yacht off the coast of Ibiza, Spain. He was thought to be worth $1.3 billion. Number 5. Jose Neves. Net Worth. $1.4 billion. Portuguese billionaire Jose Manuel Ferreira Neves is the creator of the global luxury fashion e-commerce site Farfetch. While still a student, Neves started his first tech business, Grey Matter. He offered software to apparel producers. Neves established Farfetch in 2008. Before debuting in China, Farfetch sold a small interest to JD.com in June 2017 for 397 million US dollars. In September 2018, Farfetch debuted on the New York Stock Exchange. 
Neves controls less than 15% of the company's ownership but more than 77% of the voting rights as a result of the dual-class stock structure. The estimated net worth of Neves is $1.4 billion. Neves, a married father of five, resides in Guimares, Portugal. Number 4. José Brado. Net worth, $1.8 billion. Businessman, investor, and art collector José Manuel Rodríguez Joe Barardo is a Portuguese and South African descent. He left Portugal at the age of 18, moved to South Asia, worked in horticulture distribution, and eventually founded significant businesses. By the end of the 20th century, he was one of the most well-known and prosperous Portuguese businessmen. He founded the gold extraction business Agoli Consolidated Mines Limited in South Africa. One of Portugal's top collectors of modern art is Berardo. He began collecting as child with stamps, postcards, and matchboxes before switching to modern and contemporary art in the 1980s. He is an avid collector. Berardo is estimated to be worth $1.8 billion. Number 3. Bill Miruda Azevedo. Net worth, $2.7 billion. Bill Miruda Azevedo, a Portuguese billionaire, passed away in November 2017 at the age of 79. He started working at Sony, a tiny Portuguese manufacturer, at age 27, rose to the position of CEO at age 29, and over more than 40 years, transformed it into a sizable worldwide holding company. De Azevedo retired from his position as Sony's board chairman in 2015. Sony Industria, a manufacturer of building materials, and Sony Capital, a company that operates hotels and offers solar energy, were two spin-offs in which he held the majority of the shares. Just under 53% of Sony is owned by Bill Mirda Azevedo and his immediate family, whose stakes have increased by more than 50% as a result of earnings that exceeded expectations despite continued economic hardship in Portugal. His wife, three children, and son Paolo, who took over as CEO of Sony in 2007, all survive him. Bell Miro's net worth is estimated to be $2.7 billion. Number 2. Elisio Alexander Soares dos Santos. Net worth, $3 billion. Alexander Soares dos Santos was a businessman and a philanthropist. 45 years after succeeding his father as CEO of the Portuguese store Geronimo Martins, he continued to serve as its leader until November 2013. The company, which began in 1792 with a little shop in Lisbon, currently runs the Pingo Dossé and Richer chains in Portugal as well as the Bidronka chain in Poland. Additionally, it has aspirations to grow in Colombia, where it hopes to open up to 40 outlets by the end of 2013. Soares dos Santos owns about 22% of the publicly traded store with his family. His net worth increased by $300 million in 2012 with just a modest increase in the share price. Despite Portugal's economy is in a state of stagnation, Hieronimo Martins continues to expand because of its Polish outlets, which generate about 60% of the company's sales. Pedro, the son of Soares dos Santos, is the CEO of Hieronimo Martins, and Jose is a board member, both of his sons are active in the business operations. Alexander has a $3 billion net worth. Number 1. Maria Fernanda Amorim and Family. Net worth, $4.7 billion. The only Portuguese individual to appear on Forbes magazine's list of billionaires is Maria Fernanda Amorim and her family. The only Portuguese people on Forbes magazine's list of the richest billionaires in 2022 are Maria Fernanda Amorim and her family, who are listed in 601st place. Although the 87-year-old businesswoman and her three children have moved up seven spots since Forbes prepared its list in 2021, her net worth has remained constant at $4.7 billion. After 60 years at the head of Cordesera Amorim and investments in the banking and energy industries, Americo Amorim passed away in 2017 leaving Maria Fernanda Amorim and her family the money he had accumulated. Paula Amorim, his eldest daughter, serves as the company's chairman. Amorim owns an 18% stake in Galp Energia. I appreciate your attention. See you again soon. Please feel free to comment in the space provided below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. See you again next time.